Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna do a pantry makeover DIY fun things. It's right behind us. It's a mess. It's not always this messy, but it often gets this messy because there's just no system. And with no system, there's no order. And we're gonna bring order today, which is not only gonna impact the beauty, but also I'm gonna wanna cook more, I'm gonna wanna cook better, and it's gonna help our lives and fuel us. And so, yeah, it's gonna be great. So today we're just gonna make kind of the blueprint, get the layout, and then tomorrow we're gonna start building, but obviously you're gonna see it in the next two minutes. Let's see how this goes. So as you can see, we have all these appliances on top. I like to keep my snacks here, baking stuff here. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? What? what are you doing in here? Excuse me, miss. See, things just get lost in here. It's just like you can't keep track of anything. <laughs> I'll be right back. It's time to empty her out. Let's go. pantry the empty pantry it's the next day and today we're gonna get started Andrew's actually getting some leftover supplies we forgot but I'm gonna get started painting I'm just gonna lay out a little bit of the plan so you know what's coming we're gonna put some beadboard on the back here just to add some interest and we're gonna paint this Swiss coffee by Benjamin Moore it's a really nice warm white we used it in my mother-in-law's bathroom renovation you can check that out up here but the idea is to step up. You step up into our pantry and there's gonna be five shelves. They're gonna start a bit deeper. The first two shelves will be the same height. They'll come about out about 20 inches. And then we're going to bring them further and further back so that we can actually reach for them. And it's gonna kind of be like, kind of a staircase effect, if you will. I think there's a term for it. Can't remember what it is, because I'm not a professional. The idea is to put a curtain here to cover the bottom two shelves, because I'm gonna use those shelves for my like ugly appliances and storage stuff. And then I got some really aesthetic jars and such from Amazon. Everything will be linked back down below, and we're gonna make all these shelves aesthetic and pretty. And then there's some other details, but we wanna live a little bit of a surprise, so let's get started painting. <music> Okay, one thing when we moved in this apartment was it had this piece of plywood that's been unfinished and just kind of there. A lot of things were just slightly unfinished. So we're gonna paint this and then we're gonna put a, what is it called? Exterior crown molding? Is that what it's called? It's like an L shape and it'll just kind of act as a little finishing touch. It'll make it look complete and intentional. So I'm gonna paint this right now. Measured the beadboard to the correct uh, dimensions of our uh, pantry and uh, about to cut it, so I'm gonna film that. Ciao. Totally forgot to restart the filming because I went and got gloves. But basically, after measuring it, I just uh, used a uh, uh, circular saw to, you know, cut it down to size. Okay, ciao. Okay folks, as you can see, the beadboard is up. Now we're trying to measure out where we wanna put our shelves exactly, teetering between four and five. Four would be better for, you know, longer shelf space. Five would be a little more condensed, maybe not as spacious and beautiful, but also more functional. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do. So I've uh, framed out the second shelf. Just cut the shelf, I'm gonna throw it in. I'm gonna frame out the uh, next couple of shelves and uh, call it a day. <laughs> okay. 
Hey, next up I have to mount these corbels, they're called, and uh, got to figure out how to mount them. So uh, keep you updated on that. I'm going to put a, uh, like a cross support, don't know what it's called in, and then uh, after that we can drop the shelves in. Simple. <laughs> really easy. <laughs> As you can see, shelf number three is in. There's a gap still in the bottom, but you know, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get going on shelf number four. Again, friends, this is the third day and the final day of this project, God willing. Andrew built the shelves yesterday and I am thrilled. They're looking so good. Now I just need to paint everything, paint the shelves, paint the beadboard, and then got to hem the curtain, got to put up some finishing details, and then I get to organize all my beautiful jars with all my things for the pantry. I'm very excited. Let's get started. First step is to prime these shelves. I'm going to do the bottom side and then paint the bottom side and then put them in and then once they're in I'm going to paint the top. I think that's what Andrew told me to do and I think that's the best system so here we go. in the kitchen. The messy kitchen that's been overrun by this project. You can't really see that part. Anyways, I got these beautiful jars off of Amazon. Everything is linked below and I washed them out and I'm going to fill them. This is the fun part. Well, part of the fun part. The fun part will be putting it in, but oh, I'm so excited. Let's get to it. Let's see what we got here. All purpose flour, all natural. <laughs> Almonds flour. Almonds flour. Almonds flour. I'm sorry, what? Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so good. From this to this. the final day of this pantry makeover. I am at my mom's. She is going to be helping me hem the curtain. She does not want to be on camera. Um, but here's the curtain. 
I actually got this at a rummage sale for like eight bucks a while back. And I have this tension rod just for measurements, but I'm gonna get a gold tension rod instead. It'll be tied up here, and then we're just gonna hem the bottom here. Our new and improved pantry. Well everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, it helps us out a lot. Uh, and make sure to follow us on Instagram because we post a lot more content there. And check out our shop if you're looking for vintage antique finds. That's what we did, these hooks and still the artwork. The artwork. <sighs> You need a little touch of old in every space, in our opinion, and you can check out our shop for that. ShopTazori.com. See you in the next one. Is that good? Yeah, that was super good. Okay. Ciao.